Well, uh, bon dia, mundi. We're rushing around, trying to get the morning duties sorted because we're heading off to Caldas to pick up our friends from the bus station. Vince and Linda, our friends who live up in Coimbra, are coming to visit today. I look like an absolute mess, my hair needs a cut, but they're good friends of ours so we can get away with stuff like that. <laughs> All right, we're at the bus station. There's absolutely nowhere to park here, so I'm just stopped in a space I'm not supposed to be. So are you looking forward to seeing Vince and Linda? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mum is going in to find them. Here they come. Story was the welcoming party. Now we're going to go get some breakfast. You're here. I know. It's a pretty day. <laughs> you just got a big smile on your face. <laughs> Just having a look outside at the fruit market that's been set up. Um, normally we get here in the afternoon, I was just saying to Vince that I expected it to be busier at this time of day, but it's actually a little bit quieter. Maybe because it's a weekday morning. Lynn's on the balcony, taking in the view, watching the locals going about their shopping. It smells lovely out here today, like a mixture of baked goods, pastries and sweet fruits too. I've got myself one of these banana and peanut butter smoothie bowls today. It's really big actually, you can see it by the size of my hand there. It's really cold as well, frozen bananas in that. Sasha's got herself a tapioca, what would you call that? A crepe? Yeah, I guess so. That's a Brazilian thing, isn't it? We, we read. It's quite tasty, we had one last time. And whose is the cup of milk? Well, I always had a coffee with oat milk. Yeah. I think I've got coffee with oat milk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it tasty? <laughs> Look at that. Is this your mama? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you've got curly hair too, that's right. Mommy's got straight hair. Mommy's got straight hair. Mommy's got Daddy's got too much hair. <laughs> Looks like they've got a little pop up shop thing. This wasn't here before. We're just on our way down to Park Dom Carlos to have a look. You want to go and see the swans? You want to give them a snack? The swans are there. Look at them go! They're on the hide. They're hiding, aren't they? They're just going for a swim. They are drinking water, that's right. They live in the water. Look, Daisy! Look, Daddy! Fire! Oh, yes, a Daisy! Well done! She's got some other places. We moved out of that place. Look at these sleeping ducks. So sweet. Oh, I'll woke them up. Woo! Oh, they're so trusting, these ducks. They're just sleeping so close to everybody. This one's surrounded by daisies. Slots perfectly into the tree. Look at that. I can't lie, one of the main reasons for coming to this park is so that story can go in the swings. I can already hear her calling for them. <laughs> yes, we can see the swings. <laughs> That's not the way to the swing story. What do you think of the flowers? Vince and Linda. You said look Vince and Linda. Yeah, there's the swings. Come on then, let's go. Let's do some swing time, yeah? You wanna do some swinging? Why not? That's it. <laughs> Still hasn't got the hang of the leg thing. Climbing, I know. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Well done. That was good climbing story. Amazing climbing. <laughs> Now make your way across the bridge. Across the bridge. Across the bridge. Now. Now what? I make peppers. No. Go for it. 
Ready? You can do it. Bye bye. You're gonna go fast. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're like done. <laughs> A quick wibbly wobbly. I did it. You did well do it. Well done. Woohoo! Crazy. Look at that hair. <laughs> we haven't been to this cafe in ages. We came in on one of the first visits with the crocheted trees. Sasha just noticed there's a crocheted penis hanging from the tree too. You've chosen the hardest route. It's Donna. There you go. <laughs> Look at all these daisies story. <laughs> wow. We're just looking at the roots on this wisteria. It looks like a Jurassic thing, doesn't it? Yeah, look at, look at the that is so chunky, look. It's growing out from here as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whee! I've come up here to see if we can get the classic shot. But the water's a little bit rougher than usual. Normally you get a perfect reflection on this lake. The black swans are out, just over there. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is seating arrangements. Oh, that's nice. Story doing the garden tour. You want a watering can? Story's insisting on watering the plants. You done now? I need some more. Ready? <laughs> well done. You're very strong. You're going to water the same plant again. <laughs> Well done, good girl. You saw the lizard? Linda and Vince know a lot more about the land than we do. Perhaps they can identify the mystery vegetable. What leaf? A green leaf. What green leaf are you talking about? You, you want to get a green leaf? Okay, go on then. Show me what you want to do. Down, Daddy. Okay, where are we going? Down, <laughs> That's what you wanted to do. Hey, Sash, there was a chicken poo in the ground and the story yeah. kept saying, I want a leaf, I want a leaf. So she picked a leaf and then she came and covered it up. <laughs> okay, leave it now. Just put it on top. Story's picking wildflowers with Lynn over there. And Vince has been giving us a lesson on the types of weeds that we've got growing down here. But I'm going to go back to the house now and prepare lunch. I'm going to go and make some hummus. And I made a soup last night that we're going to have for our lunch with some crusty bread. And I'm going to set out some snacks. We were all busy preparing lunch and then Story just went outside and did this. She grabbed the glass bowl of chips from the table and then came and neatly sat down. Is that your lunch? Yeah, you cheeky face. You know that's not everything you're going to eat today. Is it yummy? Oh, who? You sweet girl. <laughs> We've had pretty average weather for the last couple of days, but today when we've got our visitors, it's perfect. About 17 degrees out here, nice. Some fresh orange juice story to go with your chips. Just be enjoying the sunset whatnot. We had a really, really lovely lunch and really lovely long catch up with Vince and Linda. It's been lovely. It's always lovely whenever we get to catch up with them.
they are now off back at the bus stop in Kaldash, ready to take the bus back to Queenborough. I think it's about a two hour journey, I think they said. And we are now heading to pick up a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting furniture. We are. So we'll show you that once we've picked it up. There we go, we've got it. What do you think, Story? Where should we put it? Where's it go? Where's it gonna go? In the box. Just tried to lift this thing off by myself, African style, but it didn't work. Too heavy for me. So I'm gonna have to get Sasha out here to help. Drop it down into the floor. All right, here is our new cupboard. Story's already filling it with little shells and stones, aren't you, Story? Yeah, she's already put this one up here. This oh. thing that she got from the beach the other day with Robert and Stuart. Mm. Do you remember you picked that up when you were with Robert and Stuart? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> and this is the other set of drawers that we got from the same couple. Really, really happy with it. <laughs> it's exactly what we wanted. And then finally, we have this one as well, which we've put in the entrance hall. And we've got a new little addition here. Vince and Linda bought us for a housewarming gift. It's very sweet. So we found out through a friend of ours that this couple wanted to donate some furniture because they've just moved here from America and it was stuff that was left in the house that they bought. And it just so happens that the guy that we met actually knew us and he had watched his, our videos to help him plan his trip to Portugal and to eventually moving here, which they've now done. Unknowingly, something that we've put out there has helped somebody and they've now helped us out in a little way by helping us with this furniture. Our two worlds have collided and we've ended up meeting. And it's just a little nice reminder that you don't know what impact you're having on people and what message you're putting out there. You do nice things and you put things out there and in return, nice things will happen back. And I think that's how we feel about this situation. And it's something so small as a cupboard. It's something that we really needed and it is. it just feels like home now. It really does. We've got somewhere to put our little candles and things like that and it's just lovely. And a quick change, I'm now in my pyjamas. Jay's set up over there, he's doing some work for the evening. Story's in bed and I'm gonna cook some spaghetti for Jay and I's dinner. I'm also gonna end the vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a really, really lovely day. It's been a really nice, relaxing day with Vince and Linda. If you haven't yet got your copy of our free ebook, The Veggie Table, full of delicious, a home cooked recipes go to 8milesfromhome.com and download your copy now and we will see you next time bye we are exploring Mata Reina de Leonor today's not about you story actually today's about Eden you haven't been out of the house for about a month very mystical looking do some great photo shoots in here and you've got your snacks bye mice <laughs>